In this tutorial we're going to look at how to set formatting, set conditional formatting on cells based on multiple conditions. Up to now we've looked at conditional formatting in early tutorials and we've formatted cells based on one condition. If a cell was less than a certain value then make it red or whatever. So that's one single condition. In this particular example we're going to look at two. Uh, the scenario I'm setting up is again on the employee timesheet system. I've entered a create a new sheet called employee record. Um, basically the idea is that each employee should submit their bank details to the company once a year and have a medical once a year. And When they've submitted those details we just type in yes and the default is no, N for no, it hasn't been submitted. Um, but it's a little bit more there's a little bit more involved than that because if they haven't submitted the details uh, that's not necessarily and a, a, it doesn't need to be highlighted specifically it's because there is a target date for example the bank details must be submitted by the 2nd of the 1st 2013 this target date I've set on the right so we only want to highlight the cell in red if it's set to N and today's date is after the 2nd of the 1st and the same with the yearly medical. So we need two conditions to be true before we actually uh, set the conditioning or set the use the conditional formatting to set the cell to red. Let's have a look at how to do that. Um, I'm just going to highlight one cell and I'm going to go on the conditional formatting so this is all the same before I'm going to create a new rule. Uh, this time I'm going to use this one, I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. In other words, I'm using a formula to determine whether the contents of the cell gets highlighted or not. And the formula are typed in here. Now to do this, because I need to set more than one condition uh, for the conditional formatting, uh, I need to net use a, an Excel function to allow me to do this. I'm going to type in equals, so that tells Excel a function is coming. The function name is AND. And what this really does is you can set as many conditions, a list of conditions. If all of them are true, uh, then the formatting will happen. So the first condition I need to have is, is today's date after the target date? Now, we know that there's a function called today in Excel. And Excel knows it's a function because I've used the keyword today and I've got this open and close brackets what that does is that returns the current system date. So if today's date is greater than the target date, so we're doing the bank details, so I click up here and it comes back and it's got an absolute cell reference which is what I want. So that's that's first condition. If today's date is greater than the target date, now we need a second one and we want to say if, if the cell value is set to N. Now I don't need absolute cell um, references for this. So I'm going to get rid of the dollar sign. So if cell D4 is equal to N, that's basically it. So what I'm saying is if today's date is greater than the target date and the cell has got the value N, then we do the formatting. Let's put the formatting in. Let's do bold and italic and red. Press OK. Press OK. And lo and behold, it's now circled because I'm actually running this on the 3rd of January. So uh, the date, today's date is greater than that, so that's the target date, the 2nd and 1st, and also the value set to end. In other words, the employee hasn't submitted the bank details in time and we highlight it in red. Uh, I don't want to go for all that for all the other cells for the employees, so what I'm going to do is just copy the formatting. So click on the one where I've got the conditional formatting, Control C to copy, highlight the cells I'm going to copy the formatting to, right click my mouse, Paste special, click on formats only, and all the cells are formatted. 